sidechain. Now, there's multiple sidechains that you can do, and one of them would be a sidechain on a gate. And there's a couple ways to do this, but basically what's happening is we're putting the gate, for this circumstance, we're putting the gate on the snare bottom. So we bypass that. Okay, we have a lot of that rattle when the kick hits. And oftentimes, just putting the gate straight on the snare bottom is really tough because the kick making the snares rattle makes it so loud that you can't gate it. It doesn't go below the threshold. And if you drop it below the threshold, it takes out the main hits that you want. And so often what you do is you gate the snare, and then what you're doing is sending the signal from that snare to the gate that is on the snare bottom and activating the gate from that other signal. So that's what the sidechain is, is or key input as it's called sometimes, is activating a gate or a compressor or something like that on one track from the signal of another track. And so the way to do that here is we're going to bus that gated top snare. We're going to put it pre-fader and we're going to send that to bus 1, the input to bus 1, and we will unbypass it and hit play. So now the gate is in, being enacted upon the snare bottom, but it is, it is acting based upon the information given to it by the snare top. Okay, in addition to the that type of sidechain, the key input there, you have a sidechain which is basically EQ, and the way we do this is we can boost the original signal. We can say, I want you to act upon a boosted, like maybe a rolled off, a low pass filter on the, the information that's on the track, but there's too much high stuff in it that's keeping the gate from closing. And so I want to put this high pass filter on there, or this low pass filter on there, so that it will only act based on that low information that comes through. We could do that on the snare here because that, that kick is in there. And so we could put a high pass filter in here and uh, bring it up above where that kick is going to be and use that as our sidechain. We can also do sidechain with compression on one track. Let's say we have our compressor on our acoustic guitar track here. Okay, and let's say we want to use that same key input from bus one on the snare. Now watch what happens. Now it's going to basically duck, duck out of the way every time that snare hits. And using a sidechain in this way, like I said, duck is basically ducking is what it's called and this can be used on maybe an accompaniment track and there's a vocal so that when the vocal speaks maybe it's a voiceover thing when the person speaks the background track gets lower in level and then when the person stops speaking the background track is not compressed anymore and comes right back up and it's often used in that way in radio and such um, ducking which is just a sidechain compression like this. So there's lots of things you can do with the sidechain. We could do multiple things. There's We can do it to the kick and the bass to try to make them groove better together. Maybe take off some of the front attack of the bass and make it sit in the pocket of the kick. I've done that before. There's lots of things we can do with sidechains and it's just a great fun thing we can play with and add some interesting effects. Make the hi-hat groove a little bit more. Make it not fight with the snare you know, um, do some compression on the hi-hat from the snare, just like we're doing on the acoustic here. There's a lot of great stuff we can do with sidechain and with just compression overall if it's used wisely.